Hello furniture friends, Katie here from Salvaged by K. Scott. I am a full-time worn out and outdated furniture finder and restyler here sharing what I love to do with all of you. My husband Doug and I just moved our family from the South Central Ontario area all the way out to the Moncton, New Brunswick area on the East Coast of Canada and we have been so busy unpacking and making plans for some incredible home renovations and makeovers. But this past weekend was a bulky item trash pickup day in our new neighborhood and I found this pair of nightstands out on the curb for trash and I just can't help myself from diving in to save them. They have a ton of potential and I actually think they're gonna be the perfect size to use in our new guest suite basement apartment. But before I get too deep into this transformation, I need to deal with the stink that is emanating from this set. So today I'm gonna to share with you seven different methods to give a whirl when you are trying to get the funk out of your furniture. Oftentimes when you're dealing with vintage and antique pieces, there's kind of an old musty odor. And sometimes you'll find even worse smells like pet urine or cigarette smoke. I usually try to avoid these pieces altogether because the fact of the matter is getting odors out of wood is hard. These nightstands are particularly gross. They're full of mouse poop and reek of smoke, but I'm confident that I can still give them a fresh new life and turn them into something that I'll want to put inside my home instead of ending up in the landfill. The first step in every one of my furniture makeovers is a good deep clean. This is a great time to take your project apart, look for flaws or things that need fixing and get rid of the cobwebs, dust bunnies, fingerprints and furniture polish residue that might mess with your new finish. And sometimes if you get really lucky, a good clean will wash away any unappealing odors. The first method to try is a wash with vinegar. This is an old school trick that works really well on funky smells. And we are talking plain old fashioned white vinegar for this one. I like to dilute the vinegar with water in a spray bottle in about a one to one ratio and thoroughly saturate my piece. When you're dealing with odors, you want to be particularly careful to get into every single surface. I like to saturate every inch with my solution inside, outside, and don't forget the bottoms. I let my vinegar sit for about 10 minutes and then I like to come back with some warm soapy water and scrub everything down. Another cleaning solution that is just as easy to try is vodka or alcohol. Obviously you don't wanna be using anything high value from your liquor cabinet on old furniture, but if you've got some cheap vodka or even plain rubbing alcohol from the drugstore, you can spray that onto your surfaces as well. The same as the vinegar, I like to let this soak into the surface for a few minutes and then I will come back with my warm soapy water and wash it down. If vinegar or vodka don't do the trick, you can try washing your piece down with some bleach. The same premise applies here. Washing with a disinfecting agent can help kill the smell that's living down in the porous wood. I would say that wearing a respirator for this one especially is a good idea so that you're not breathing in those fumes and be careful to follow the safety recommendations on the container. You should always be very careful using any of these cleaning methods on furniture pieces that you're not planning to refinish. All of these have the potential to damage old or original finishes, so try a test spot in an inconspicuous area or skip ahead to one of these other methods. Whether you've decided to wash your stinky drawers in any or all of those cleaning choices, the next tip or method that can help with the stink is to let everything dry in the sun. Once I'm done washing, I like to line everything up on my driveway in a nice sunny spot and let it bake out there for as long as I can. The sun should dry out any moisture in the wood fibers and also help kill off those odor causers like dust mites and mildew. Next up, we have newspaper and essential oils. 
The theory here again is that moisture is causing the odor and that moisture will be drawn out of the wood and into the paper and the oils will leave behind a pleasant smell instead. If you happen to choose an essential oil that has some bacteria fighting power like lemon or eucalyptus, that can help too and hopefully leave behind a much fresher smell. I can't find my lemon oil at the moment, so this eucalyptus fragrance oil is my substitute for today. Method number six is baking soda. Just like we use a box of baking soda to help control odors in the fridge, it can be helpful in stinky furniture situations too. I find this one is for more mild to moderate smells. I grab some good old fashioned baking soda and either pour it into a bowl and place it in the furniture or go ahead and sprinkle it right into those drawers. Close it up and you're gonna wanna leave this here for a few weeks. The baking soda will soak in those odor particles and when you think it's done working its magic, you can remove the bowl or vacuum up the powder and hopefully you'll notice some improvement. Last but absolutely not least is shellac or a shellac based primer. This is the one that works best for those really strong odors that just won't go away. I use this shellac based primer on almost all of my projects anyways, because it's not only the method that is the closest to a guarantee to block odors, but it also seals in wood tannins that can leach up through a newly painted finish and cause unappealing stains. Shellac is not water-based and doesn't like water at all. And you need to clean it up with some pretty harsh ammonia or denatured alcohol. So my preference is to line a tray with tin foil and use a cheap chip brush or roller to apply it. And then I can wrap all that up when I'm finished and toss. If this is the method that you end up on, you want to be sure again and coat every surface. This is actually going to seal up, seal in, and encase the odors. If your furniture has details or wood grain that you're not really keen on painting over, you can also opt for a clear shellac. Both the clear shellac and the white shellac base primer also come in a handy spray form. I'm gonna go ahead and keep working on this set. I've got a ton of repairs and modifications that I need to do before I go ahead and put my primer on the rest of the surfaces. But if you're interested in seeing how these nightstands turn out once they are fully made over, make sure that you are subscribed to the channel. Also, I would love if you could leave me a thumbs up and a comment down below, especially if you have any more deodorizing tips or tricks. And I will catch you all next time.